I have uh, two clownfish in a 33-gallon tank. Uh, Dennis is the male, and Norman is the female. Norman actually used to be a male, but uh, he changed sex about four years ago, um, which I'll explain more a little bit later. Um, they are extremely healthy. I've had them for about seven years, and um, they are part of the family. So like I said, uh, clownfish are, are great for, for beginners and, and kids. Uh, one of the reasons is is because they're extremely hardy fish. They um, For saltwater fish, they, they aren't very delicate. They can live in a lot of uh, extreme conditions, and um, they live for a long time. They can live up to 15 to 20 years, um, depending on when you, you get them. Another great thing about clownfish is that they they do not need uh, a lot of space. They're in in their natural environment, they pretty much live in one uh, area and they don't leave that for their entire life. So um, they're perfect for the aquarium because they will feel right at home and they'll exhibit a lot of their, uh, their natural behaviors um, uh, as long as you keep them in a healthy environment. So um, you can keep them in like a 10 gallon aquarium, um, you can keep them in a, a huge aquarium if you want with lots of other fish, they tend to get along with uh, most fish. So clownfish exhibit a lot of interesting behaviors. That's one of the re great reasons to uh, to keep them. Um, a lot of times you see them in pairs, and uh, they are usually made up of a, a dominant female and a uh, uh, a male. So, so sometimes you can get clownfish as, as juveniles, which means they don't have a sex. So um, you'll see that when you get them like this for about a year, they'll go through this interesting behavior of... Um, of trying to vie for dominance of the the aquarium space, um, the one that eventually wins out uh, will become the female, and the uh, the one that loses out uh, will become the male. And it's interesting because they will tend to bicker a lot when you first get them, but once the the sex is determined and the and everyone know who knows who the dominant female is, uh, everything tends to smooth out, and the female will become extremely protective of the male and she'll start to um, protect him if you put your hand in the tank she'll nip at it um, she will grow a lot bigger than the male so it's um, it's quite an interesting thing to to witness over uh, about a year's time if you've had clownfish for a, a while together um, and they've already um, determined who's the female and the male if they become really comfortable in your aquarium they will uh, start to spawn which means that they will um, they will lay and fertilize eggs and the great thing about this is that these um, these eggs that get fertilized can actually be um, hatched and, and reared and, and uh, you can actually have baby clownfish from it it's uh, actually a very lengthy process to do and it takes a lot of time but um, just witnessing the the spawning behavior which for uh, the which for these types of clownfish uh, happens like every two to three weeks. Uh, it's really interesting.